I am Miss Hill, and I'm here to say, let's open up book and read today. Books are hip. They're cool. Books will help you in school. If you read with me, here's what we'll do. I find reading fun with you. Hi, I'm Miss Hill, and I'm here to say, let's read together every day. Hi there. My name is Miss Hill. I hope you're having a great day today. Are you ready to read? Let's go. The Flying Chip by Pooja Rivinas in the Thai Pandya. Springdale is a quaint suburban town not too far from the bustling city. Mark and Suzanne Smith live there with their children, Jenny and Johnny. The Smiths dote on their pet golden retriever, Jojo. Jenny is going to be a second grader and Johnny is a kindergartner. They love to read, play on their tablets, and really enjoy adventure. Finish that bowl of soup, Johnny, says Mommy, rolling her eyes. Can I have another slice of bread, Mommy? asks Jenny. Someone's hungry today, says Mommy, as she passes the bread to Jenny. You had your fill, Jojo, said Daddy, as he signals to Jojo to stop begging for more table scraps. Jenny and Johnny have many friends in the neighborhood, but their best friends are Sarah, Cody, and Jay. Ever since the summer break began, the children have spent a large part of their days playing and running around together. On the last summer evening before going back to school, the children gather to play in Jay's driveway. Let's play basketball, Sarah screams. Jenny, Johnny, and Jay join the game. Watch how I dribble the ball, Cody squeals in excitement. The ball slips from Cody's hands and rolls into Jay's garage, which is also where his dad, Mr. Kumar, fixes computers. Hey kids, Mr. Kumar says. Hello, Mr. Kumar, the children greet. How are you doing, Sarah asks. Well, I'm fixing this computer. Have you ever wondered about gadgets like these, Mr. Kumar points to the stuff on his work desk? Would you like to know what's inside your mommy and daddy's computer that makes it so smart? Yeah, the children scream in excitement as they gather around Jay's father. Do you see these colorful buttons with bands that look like bugs? Jay's father asks. They are the components that make phones, computers, and even your toys work wonders. Look how they are mounted on this green board, which is called a circuit board. The circuit board is like a Lego base and the components are like Lego bricks. They all work together as a team, he adds. The children bend over the table to take a closer look. You know how the phone or computer screen lights up when you push the power button? That is where the energy comes from, says Mr. Kumar, pointing to the battery on the board. Aha! So it is the battery that needs to be charged when my toy car begins to slow down, chuckles Johnny. Mr. Kumar nods with a smile. Mr. Kumar points at the shiny lines on the circuit board. Whenever you type or tap a picture on the screen, these thin wires carry your messages to the right place. They look like the busy roads downtown, Cody observes. All of this looks like a maze to me, Jenny remarks. I am imagining text messages zooming through this maze like bike riders riding on a narrow road, says Jay with a mischievous smile. Vroom, vroom, hollers Johnny. Sarah and Jenny enjoy this dramatic conversation. All of them are looking at Mr. Kumar's desk with curiosity and amazement. Do you see this thing that looks like a caterpillar, Mr. Kumar asks as he points to one of the many tiny objects. They are called microchips or chips. They are the brain of the computer, phone, or tablet. Computers have a brain too? Wow, says Cody, his eyes growing wider. If I ever found these in my bag of potato chips, I wouldn't eat them. They look like somebody burnt them, says Jenny with a frown. The children burst out laughing. These chips do all the magic that make devices work smart, Mr. Kumar explains. You would find these chips almost everywhere. Everywhere? asks Sarah with a puzzled expression. They are in your phones, dishwashers, microwaves, cars, and even in airplanes, Mr. Kumar adds. The children are surprised to learn interesting things about gadgets. Jenny and Johnny, their mom calls out, it's time to come home. Tomorrow's the first day of school. 
Mr. Kumar and Jabe wave goodbye. Yes, it is time to go home. Have a great first day of school, Mr. Kumar wishes to the children. All the kids wave goodbye and leave for their homes. You know, Mommy, Jay's daddy showed us what it is inside a computer, says Jenny with a voice filled with excitement. That sounds interesting, says Mommy with a smile. And just the way daddy fixes big machines, Jay's dad fixes computers. You know the inside of a computer looks like a board with tiny colorful buttons on it, and everything is so teeny weeny and confusing in there, Jenny exclaims. Okay, honey, I know you're excited, but tomorrow is a big day, Mommy says as she gently pats Jenny's head. You need to sleep now. Remember, school begins tomorrow. Good night, Mommy, Jenny says, pulling her toy bunny closer. Good night, honey buns, says Mommy as she kisses Jenny and Johnny Good night. Jenny quickly falls asleep and dreams about her day. Hello there, little lady. Is it really you, Chip? I saw you inside the computer today, Jenny exclaims in disbelief. Yes, I am that Chip, and no, you don't find me in a bag of potato chips, says Chip with a playful smile. Jenny blushes. Would you like to join me for an adventure, Chip asked. I'd love to, Jenny screams cheerfully. Can we take Jojo and my friends too? Sure, I will show you all around, says Chip. As their trip begins, Chip flies with Jojo and the children on its back. This is so cool, screeches Cody. This is fun, Sarah adds with a glint in her eyes. We are on a real adventure, Jade chimes in. Woohoo! It is our flying chip, the children shout gleefully. Woof woof! Jojo joins in the fun. Chip, Jojo, and the children fly into a strange land. We are inside the computer, kiddos, announces Chip. The children stare in amazement. The landscape below looks very much like the circuit board they saw at Mr. Kumar's work desk. But all the tiny things they saw on the board are now towering over them. They look like gigantic and colorful skyscrapers. The tiny wires look like roads that join each block. The children feel like they have shrunk and everything around them is larger than life. Howdy, Jojo and kids says a colorful block. Howdy, say the kids as they wave back. Woof, woof, Jojo greets in return. Just as you, mommy, or daddy have a unique role to play in the family, every part of a computer is designed for a specific job. Some carry messages from one place to another. Some do the calculations. Some keep the computer cool, while some give the energy it needs to work, Chip explains. Now, Let's get back to the real world and I can show you how chips like me are here, there, and everywhere, Chip suggests as it prepares to fly out of the computer. Jojo wags his tail. The children nod as they look forward to going back into a familiar world. Hey, look how the cars seem to be so small, remarks Johnny as they fly into the real world. And the people look like ants, exclaimed Jay. See that plane, Sarah, says Sarah excitedly. And do you see that big signboard blinking out there? I love those colors, shouts Jenny, pointing at a shiny billboard. The airplane, the car, and the billboard also have that similar world that we just saw inside the computer, says Chip, gliding through downtown. You mean they all have the chip inside of them? Cody asks. Yes, but not just one, but many, Chip answers. Chips are here, chips are there, chips are everywhere, the children scream in chorus. Do you see that man looking into his phone while crossing a busy road, Chip asks. He isn't watching for any cars, says Jenny. That's right, Chip affirms. And look at that child rubbing her eyes, says Chip, pointing at the girl sitting on a park bench. She has been playing on the phone for a long time. Mommy doesn't let me play on her phone for more than an hour, Cody shares. That's good, Chip says, because too much light from our phones, computers, and tablets can hurt our eyes and heads. Now I understand what Mommy means when she says moderation is the key, Sarah concludes. My dad sets the alarm to keep my screen time in check, says Jay, shrugging his little shoulders. Hours too, 
Jenny and Johnny announced. Spending too much screen time could also take away from your playtime, reading time, and even family time, the ship says thoughtfully. Jenny wakes up to mommy's voice saying, good morning, cupcake. Did I dream about the flying chip in our adventure? Jenny wonders, you need to wash up and get ready for school, honey, mommy says. Jenny charges her tablet on the nightstand while she hurriedly begins to prepare for school. She argues with herself, no, the chip is real for sure. Jenny gives mommy a peck on her cheek as she happily boards the school bus. Jenny sits by the window on the bus and looks up in the sky. And what she sees make her lips curl into a giant smile. The flying chip is waving at her. Have a great school year, Jenny. Chip seems to say, giving her a thumbs up. Thank you, Chip, for all that you have taught us, Jenny says as she waves happily at the Chip. Don't spend too much time on the screen, Jenny, says Chip with a wink. I promise I won't, Jenny reassures. Chips are here, chips are there, chips are everywhere. Chip happily sings as it flies up high in the air. The end. It's random acts of kindness time. It's random acts of kindness time. For today's random act of kindness, allow someone to go in front of you in line. This will surprise them and make them feel really great. Try it. People come in different sizes, different color shapes and names. Although we're different on the outside, inside we are just the same. Press the subscribe button to tune in for the next story time with Miss Hill. Thanks for joining me for today's read aloud. Remember, what makes us all different makes us special. You are so special and so loved. Thanks for joining in and I'll see you next time.